same category, 1,200. Africa is connected to Asia via this isthmus. Watson? What is isthmus of current? Sorry, all I know is what is isthmus Ever. of current. Its name is Watson, a computer program to beat two of the best minds to ever play the game of Jeopardy. In tonight's extra, the answer, Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter. The question, the two biggest winners in Jeopardy history, of course, Rena. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, they may finally meet their ultimate competitor, a computer named Watson. Care 11's Jeffrey DeMars reports. His response. Together, they amassed like millions on Jeopardy. Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter beat contestant after contestant. These Jeopardy champions are so smart, people say their brains are like computers. And now they're back to face not only each other, but a little known computer that's garnering a lot of attention. At Jeopardy, we say, let the games begin. The IBM supercomputer named Watson is designed specifically to beat the super players. It took four years to build, and this will be unlike any other man versus machine competition. We have created a computer system which has the ability to understand natural human language, which is a very difficult thing for a computer to do. Spoon fed with dictionaries, encyclopedias, and nearly anything else IBM could get its hands on, 200 million pages of content later, Watson was made to win. To do so, it will play the best. Rudder earned $3 million on Jeopardy and nobody ever beat him. Jennings won 74 games in a row before his first loss. And at least one of them thinks taking the human element out of the game could be an advantage for the computer. Watson's not going to be intimidated, you know? He's never going to be flustered no matter how many he gets wrong. You know, if he's down by a lot, if, you know, me or Brad is running off a good streak, it doesn't care, you know? It's Terminator. It just keeps coming. And, uh... That's something I've relied on before, is trying to, you know, end the game early by intimidating the other contestants, and that's not going to work. Kent? It was Jefferson. Yes. While they may need to alter their own game show strategy on a public platform like Jeopardy, Watson may alter how we think about computers. Every week, we see advances to get us closer to our goal of building a machine that computes like humans, or walks like humans, or does something better than a human does. The University of St. Thomas's Dr. Tom Sturm says the competition is a continuation to build a brain-like computer, and sometimes even computers can make mistakes. Same category, 1,200. Africa is connected to Asia via this isthmus. Watson? What is isthmus of Corinth? Can you repeat that, please? Sorry, all I know is what is isthmus of Corinth. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Still, Watson does understand a lot more than the average brain. I suppose for some people it's just a gee whiz moment. For other people it might be a wake up call. There will come a time, maybe not in my lifetime, but certainly in my students' lifetime, when the capacity of the computer will exceed the capacity of the human mind. Who is Corazon Aquino? You are correct. Could a TV game show gimmick potentially spark a philosophical debate? Oh, not Rushmore for 200. Only if Watson Pick wins. I'm not sure that the match is going to prove anything. What it will do certainly is stimulate the debate about who is smarter, man versus machine, man or machine. And then the question really becomes, well, what, what is smart? Good luck, Watson. Jeffrey DeMars. CARE 11 NEWS. Watson is named after IBM's founder, Thomas Watson. Make sure you tune into Jeopardy tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 here on CARE 11 to see Watson in action.